Hard to brave here. Before you can do it again. So um, looks like I finished this bottle. And um, while I've gotten over the lotion blowout incident, and while I've also gotten over the 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 extreme ashiness, as you can see, those elbows are looking quite um, quite spectacular. You know, I'm a big fan of recycling. Now I had to figure out how to get this lotion pump clean. So hygiene soldiers, today we shall discuss how to clean a lotion pump. I had a little time here on duty. Hopefully I'll be able to show you all how to do this and um, not get back in trouble. We got a lab we do this in. Come with me soldiers. I seem to have forgotten to take my cap off. I'm so excited. Oh, and you cannot see me that good. Well, the first step to cleaning your lotion pump, you want to make sure it's empty. I just want you to see. It's empty. Yeah, it, it tits. And make sure you have utilized all of the lotion out of it to the point where you can only see the residue here within the nozzle. Now, there's a little bit. Granted, there's a little bit here and that is my eos peach cobbler maple and peach eos vanilla cashmere lotion and then i also have a video on how you should thoroughly rinse your lotion bottle now i've gone over that but there's residue still in there so what do you do this is where the fun part starts one of the first things you want to do is get your water going first don't mind the empties over there. I'm first getting the temperature of this water for it to be hot first. Okay, we've got it relatively hot where it's still tolerable. You wanna let that run straight into the pump. You wanna try breaking the barrier of product. Bit of focus. You wanna run enough water into the pump where it breaks the barrier, there we go, of product that acts as a seal that's preventing the rest of this from coming out. We're gonna do this again. Take the pump where it seems like it's stuck and it won't come out and there, that last piece of cream product stuck in the pump. Run water into it. Until it breaks the seal rinses out from where it's holding up everything else in the rest of the length of the pump. Now you can rewind it back if you can't catch it so you can take notes. Now what do we do when we're getting to the top portion? So we're rinsing this nozzle and we're pumping it out. You see how that's coming out? It just jumped out. I want you to watch this as it's being rinsed. And I'm not using soap and water yet. I'm not even using that. I'm not even using that. And underneath this nozzle is where regular debris from daily use, from my days here on duty. And as I'm doing this, I want you to look at the other side of what's happening. It's coming out. And that water is breaking through that debris in order to get rid of that lotion. We turn it over and I want you to see the bottom. I'm pumping here and it's coming out. Well, so essentially what you're doing is pumping out that lotion. And there's a open nozzle here that as you run water through it, you want to pump it at the same time you're running water through it. Run, or rotate. You can see I'm rotating kind of. Run enough water through it where it's pumping out the rest of the lotion. And you wanna do that until it's gone, until you can't get out anything anymore. Run the water here through the top of the pump. You wanna start at the bottom and break the seal of that product that's there. But once you've done that, 
run it through that nozzle of the pump and you see it's just coming out so easy. It's coming out so easy. Okay, this is what we're working with. We don't have nearly as much debris or lotion in there. We have pretty much rinsed it out. We'll give it a couple more tries. And you want to keep the water hot as it acts as a way to kind of melt the lotion, kind of heat it up to make it thinner, a thinner consistency and melt that lotion that's in that nozzle still. And as you're pumping it, it's just using the air and the water to flush out the rest of this. Now when it gets to a certain point where it won't come out and we got this debris, I want to see if I can take off the top portion of this and rinse out the top portion. Now this is only if necessary if the regular, if all the other steps I've shown you up until this point doesn't result in all the product coming out. We're parking the pump there. We took off the top portion. We just do it the same way. Run that water through it until it flushes out everything. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a clean slate for a pump. And we just put it back on here. Took the liberty of rinsing this out separately before I go ahead and put everything back. Now you see the nozzle where it's, there's some debris there. This is where you want to start using soap. It's not a clear color. It's not a white color consistency or whatever pump. Even if this is body wash, you use that to your advantage. See, we got more stuff coming out here. That's when you use soap. But if you didn't want lotion, you should be able to just use hot water to act as a way to melt it. Melt that lotion, make it thin enough to flow throughout the pump and rinse it all the way out. We got a bottle here. We just fill this up. That's what we do for that. Now, I've shown you all, the video is already up by now, but I have shown you all how to wash out a flip cap bottle. Pump bottles are a little different because of the mechanisms. They have, they have a whole cylinder that go, connects itself to a pump and it should be detachable, most are. Then we have the separate bottle here. Fill that up with water. You should need soap unless you're rinsing out a body wash that's with the pump or unless you really want to. And if you want to use soap, use something like Summer's Eve, some feminine wash, for, something that is safe for your sensitive areas. Especially if you're planning to reuse this bottle for something. And you just keep rinsing it until it's done. I think I almost got it out. I had rinsed this out before. Hadn't got everything out yet. And definitely not out of the pump. I figured this was a great time. It's all free and clear. And so we're ready to go to use this for anything else or to simply recycle it if you're not going to use it for anything else. I think most of these bottles are BPA free now. I don't see anything labeled that says that on here. If I do, I'll update y'all in the comments. And use soap if the just water method doesn't work. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I go over how to do these practical things with body care products, then on either side there should be a playlist for you all to enjoy and i forgot one last tip with this once you're done doing this with a lotion pump or a pump of any kind of any personal care or body care even down to hair removers like veet because they come with pumps too store that upside down the purpose of that is is to let it drain out you could do this you can store this upside down a shower caddy if you don't have a shower caddy and you have a spare shelf in your bathroom then separate a towel only for that purpose to store it upside down with other body care products that have a wider mouth jar and allow it to drain out and dry 
before you toss it, if you're going to recycle it, or before you utilize this and repurpose this for something else. <sighs> Until next time, soldiers. So I'm leaving this here right quick, just so we can keep in touch outside of YouTube. You'll have to submit your email, but I promise you won't get any spam. Thank you. When I think about love, it's one of the bravest things that you can do. It is patient, it is kind, it does not envy or boast, and it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast, coast of not being rude or self-seeking, nor is it easily angered or seething mad, and it keeps no records of wrongs, it has no pleasure in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. And most of all, 